This newly commissioned solar park project will successfully contribute to Trinidad and Tobago's national determined aim to reduce its carbon emissions by 15% through the year 2030. According to Acting Prime Minister and Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Stuart Young, the CARICOM region contributes less than 2% of global emissions. He says the government remains committed to developing new streams of revenue through diversification while reducing harmful emissions. Our economy is based on oil and gas and we are committed to developing it and to earning the revenue streams to be able to provide decent standards of living for our citizens. But the difference with Trinidad and Tobago is we are going to do it in a responsible manner and that's one of the things you're seeing here today. So congratulations to the airport authority. Trinidad and Tobago has joined the call for urgent action to reduce cumulative global emissions. Minister of Planning and Development, Penelope Beckles, says Trinidad and Tobago is determined in its intent to help mitigate the crisis of climate change and has gained access to international assistance to support our local efforts. Trinidad and Tobago is demonstrating its determination to be part of the transition and the installation of this solar park at the Piaco Airport represents a significant contribution to meeting our commitment under the nationally determined contributions, in addition to its demonstration value. Works and Transport Minister Rowan Sinanon says that they are committed to driving the aviation and maritime sector while remaining responsible to focus efforts on renewable energy. The next phase of this program, we're supposed to carry it about 8%, and we will be utilizing the rooftop of most of the buildings on the compound to do that. But we intend to, to do our part and move the consumption from renewable energies to close to 30% here in the airport. General Manager of the Trinidad and Tobago Airports Authority, Hayden Newton, says thus far, the park is performing beyond the expected capacity of 4% and is currently generating some 4.7 to 5%.